Let us turn to God in prayer. Refresh us with your word, O God. Baptize us with the power of the gospel as we hear it read and proclaim this day. As you did in the beginning, send your spirit to hover over the chaos, the chaos of our own frenzied and disordered souls, that we would hear your truth ringing forth in a clear and unambiguous voice, the good news for ourselves and for this entire world. Amen. Our scripture lesson this morning is from Romans 4, verses 12 through 19. If you would like to follow along with me, please turn to page 1027 of your Pew Bible. Listen now as Paul describes how sin from one person, Adam, and the free gifts of grace and righteousness came from another, Jesus Christ. Reading from Romans 5, 12 through 19. Therefore, just as sin came into the world through one man, and death came through sin, and so death spread to all because all have sinned, Sin was indeed in the world before the law, but sin is not reckoned when there is no law. Yet death exercised dominion from Adam to Moses, even over those whose sins were not like the transgression of Adam, who is a type of the one who was to come. But the free gift is not like the trespass. For if the many died through the one man's trespass, much more surely when many trespasses brings justification. If because of the one man's trespass, death exercised dominion through that one, much more surely will those who receive the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness exercise dominion in life through the one man, Jesus Christ. Therefore, just as one man's trespass led to condemnation for all, so one man's act of righteousness leads to justification and life for all. For just as by the one man's disobedience the many were made sinners, so by the one man's obedience, the many will be made righteous. God always blesses the reading and hearing of Holy Scripture. <clears throat> 